Hey guys, John V here from Phone Reno. Right now, I'm taking a hands on look at some cool lenses from Sony. These are dedicated lenses, they don't have bodies. Uh, your smartphone actually act, acts as the body itself. So, I have two different versions here. I'm gonna go really quick. The first one here is just the high zoom lens, high zoom lens, the DSC QX10. Now, the advantage of this one here, it's a, pretty much an all purpose lens just because it has that 10x zo optical zoom on board, 18.2 megapixels. It features the Xmore R sensor in there. Um, and of course you get full HD uh, video recording. The other one here is better for, for low lighting shots just because you have a really, uh, the aperture goes to as, as much as 1.8 I believe. Uh, the other one 2.4, 2.5, somewhere there. This one here is their quality lens, the DSC QX10. It has a larger size sensor, 20.2 megapixels and does feature still a 3.6 3 uh, times uh, optical zoom. So you have a little bit, but this one here, if you're gonna be doing a lot of close ups or low lighting shots, you can get better image quality with that just because of the uh, the lens it's using. The other one has the advantage with the zoom, so if you wanna have more flexibility in your shots, you're gonna to wanna to check these out. Now, they're basically plastic bodies, very lightweight, and the cool thing about it is that, let me just show you real quick here, just uh, show you what features on the sides. So you have the lens that comes out when you turn it on, power buttons right here. Uh, you have uh, some of the uh, ports right here. It, it's uh, behind this plastic flap. You have a micro SD card slot. You have a micro USB port, charge its internal battery. Here's the dedicated shutter key. So if you don't want to use your smartphone, you could actually use this if you want, and you still have control with the, uh, with the zoom itself right there. Now, in order to connect it to your smartphone, um, I believe it goes up to as much as five inches in size. Uh, you basically just open up like so, and we have the, uh, the handset right here. So basically, you just adjust it to the length, and let's see if we can get this on properly. There we go. And you can adjust it a little bit, so that's essentially how the uh, camera's gonna look, uh, or the handset's gonna look with the camera attached to it. So it's pretty nifty. And the other thing is that you have the ability to actually hold it, uh, you know, just hold it freely. So when you have the app running on the handset, uh, you could actually use it to, uh, to, uh, to, you could actually use the lens by itself. So it's pretty nice. You get some pretty interesting looking shots with it. Now this is the app for Android. Like I said, it's gonna be available for Android and iOS. And the cool thing about it is, uh, it, the way it pairs is NFC. So it's very easy, very quick. You might see a little bit of latency issues, uh, but it, for the most part, uh, it's pretty instantaneous. And uh, when you take the snapshots, you're gonna get that full image, uh, the full, full resolution shot, but when you transfer it over to the uh, device, uh, you could select up to what kind, what, kind, what kind of size you want. So something smaller, like a two megapixel snapshot, a lot better. And on top of that, you have a control here too for different functions like the aperture, the shutter speed, even the expose, exposure adjustment. You can take the snapshot right here, or if you want, you could also do the uh, zoom itself, so it's pretty nice. Now, the, uh, the quality lens is gonna retail for $500. Like I said, superior low lighting quality, whereas the zoom lens is gonna retail for uh, $250. Uh, really quick, this is the iPhone version of the application. It's gonna be coming out. Again, just basically the same concept. Uh, you'll ha have real-time view of what you're shooting, which is pretty nice. Uh, you're gonna have also some, some of the functionality on board too, such as uh, exposure adjustment, and of course, the different shooting modes. You could also uh, do the zoom as well if you wanted to. Um, and the, qual and the uh, zoom lens, of course, gonna retail for 250. As far as availability, it's gonna be coming out sometime in September. No word yet an exact release date, but we'll, we'll, we'll probably hear more as it gets closer. So if you wanna learn more about this, guys, you can check out our website, phonerena.com. It's John V. Thanks for